Hi, it's Michael here from digitalhomebrew.com and I just wanted to share with you the results of a test I've been running since last night to determine the heating effect that a stir plate has on your starters. Uh, to do this I've got three digital stir plates. One of them, the control is not running at all. Uh, one's running at 500 RPM and this one's running at 1500 RPM which is a point where the vortex sometimes comes down and touches the bar. Uh, I'm using 2 litre Erlenmeyer flasks filled with plain water and you'll note that I haven't got foil caps on them which is a bit of, uh, I regret a bit because this one's showing a bit of condensation here. It could be from splashing or it could be from evaporation which would have a cooling effect. I doubt it really matters but uh, if I do the test again I'll put some uh, foil caps on them as well. Uh, to do the measurements I'm just using a little digital ear thermometer and uh, it's probably not the most scientific uh, method but, but it gives me pretty good consistent results. Uh, so the control here is uh, 27.3, I'll just write that down, 27.3 degrees Celsius. Uh, running at 500 RPM has given us 27.9 degrees, 27.9, so that's 0 0.6 there already. And uh, running at 1500 RPM will be hotter still. That's 28.9 degrees for a grand total of uh, 1.6 degrees difference between having uh, no stirring action whatsoever and stirring at 1500 RPM. Uh, I'd also note that probably most of that 1.6 degrees is going to come from the mechanical action of stirring itself, uh, which is something we can't really can't really get rid of in a stir plate I guess otherwise it won't be working at all but it's um, something to keep in mind though that your stir plate will heat your starter to to an extent and um, maybe on a very hot day that could be something that, that bothers you but uh, I'd suggest most brewers don't even care if their, stir, their, their starters run quite a bit hotter than the final beers they're going to ferment so it's probably not going to be a problem in the vast majority of cases anyway. I just wanted to share that information I hope it helps some people out because um, yeah I've wanted to know so uh, Take care of your yeast and keep enjoying your brewing.